One sec. All right. Angel, what's going on? I'm doing fantastic. Best day ever. Best day ever. Why is that? Why not? You know, people, <laughs> people, people concentrate too much on negativity these days. I think a little bit of positivity. I know we are not talking about motivational or anything positive, but I have to tell you that in my old job in the military, I came in and I said that every single day. And at first people gave me like, oh, come on. Oh, again. <laughs> but eventually it turned their, their negative attitude into positive, into I need that. Hey, best mm. day ever. Very nice. Well, it is a very good day because you got your first client. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, just like I, I'm telling, asking Jason, I'm asking Mary, who also got clients, I just want to tell you a story. Like, what, what happened? How did it go? Because we haven't even got to the module four yet. So you're, you're like ahead of the curve. So tell, tell me the story. So basically, I, I was honest. I posted a message and I said, I am taking this class and I'm learning how to create bots. I am willing to help you out. I'm not going to charge you a setup fee if you're willing to cover the maintenance, the monthly fee. Mm. And I have a few, I had a few people that got interested, one that paid. Wait, wait, um, where did you post this? Your own uh, personal network? Yes, yes, to 10 people, to 10 people at first. I, I wanted to post it to 10 people in a small, uh, small message. And the reason I wanted to go that way is because I wanted to, if we, this is going to be a, a full-time business or a, a big part of the income in the future, helping people through messenger bots, I wanted to have a, a proof, something that is not, I'm sending you this educational message. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sending you how to create bots. I'm not sending you how to, so originally, I don't know if you remember, the first demo I did was for a apartment uh, rental place. Mm -hmm. and it was intentional i wanted to target two clients two big clients uh one in the hotel industry and one that rents villas mm -hmm. so the one that rents villas is the one that became a client mm, got it so uh, how did the conversation go did you just say hey i'm in this class i want to help you for free or uh, you get to pay for maintenance what did they what did they say exactly what did they react how did they react to my surprise, it was easier than what I expected. I, I got to, my, my, to pick up my kid about 11 minutes early. So I made a phone call and I said, hey, because I got a message. I said, let me make a phone call. So I called him and I said, hey, I'm not, I don't know how I'm going to charge you yet per month. It depends how often you want me to update the sequence, how often you want me to update, uh, how often you want to send broadcasts, how often you want to tweak the, the messages. So if you want to do once a month, it's $50 right now, that's what I'm thinking. If you want to do more, it's, we're going to go up from there. If you want to do more frequently, he said, okay, let's do it. I'm like, okay, let, I'm, let me wait until, give me a couple of minutes. Let me get to the house because I'm picking up my son right now. It was, it was like that. It wasn't nothing, no sales, no comfort. You know, I wasn't, I was being honest with the person and, and I think, I think that's what uh, helped me close that sale. Yeah. It seems like honesty is a, a big part in your, your success, Jason's success. Um, and I'm, I'm ha I'm glad I'm happy for you. Um, and maybe do you think it was a price? It was like, Oh, $50 to spend. Why not experiment? Right? No, I think, I think in, for this particular person, I think they're spending a lot of money on, on people managing Facebook uh, messages. So they have three employees right now. They rent, oh, wow. they rent properties and they're big in Puerto Rico. So they spend too much time qualifying the person. So the idea behind the messenger bot is to qualify, mm. the individual, get their information, uh, their phone number, the email, and what are the dates. And then the person will come back and close the sale. So Got that's, it. that's phase one. I want to grow it more because I think they're missing out, but I'm happy with phase one. And on a nutshell, once I, I, I got home, I got on, on, I told my kids, go ahead and eat. I'll be right back. <laughs> I, I got on the call uh, with him and I, I put it in a big legal um, paper, uh, legal pad. I said, okay, this is the default message. We can't change that. This is what it's going to be. I can put it in Spanish, but it's going to say, get started. And then after that, what is that you want to say? And basically I went, I, I asked him a few questions, like if I was the bot, and if I asked you this and you answered that, what you wanted to say, put it on a legal pad, and, and that's, that's it. I, wow. I, put, I put 
put it on a, um, a Google Docs after that, send it to them. It was easy. One of the employees sent me frequently asked questions that we're going to be adding. Perfect. Everything. Yeah. And uh, then we go from there. So I, I was very clear that, you know, they have to monitor the, the feed and if pe because people will get funny and they're going to start writing. I, I can see people saying bad words or writing something. So what I, would, I want to do in this particular case is, because it's something new, it's in the Hispanic market. I don't know how it's going to be. I want to monitor it frequently. Angel, I think your mic is, your mic is staticky, I think. Or is it my mic? Do you hear me okay? I, perfect. Okay, can you speak again? Yes. yes okay, so, now, you, now it's good. Maybe it was just like a quick sec. Go okay. ahead. So what I told him is that we have to monitor the messages. And if we catch people saying funny stuff or um, things that are not in the sequence, we add them on the keywords. That way we can answer. So if somebody said uh, a bad word, we can say, oh, not nice. Or, you know, you know, trying to humanize the machine. <laughs> you know. Funny stuff, yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, I seem like, it seems like this, the moral here is like the low-hanging fruit or the, the customers who are more likely to pay or the ones who are constantly on Facebook Messenger um, replying back to the, these people. So that's where we should probably start, huh? That, that's, a, that's a good observation. Um, I, haven't, I, haven't, I haven't gave it that much thought. I, I, can, I can hear, I hear it's a delay on the, on the video, but um, that's a good, that's, that's a good point, uh, observation, Tam. Um, and I probably will ask that question again and I see if I will try to engage with somebody. Say, hey, if you spend much too, a, a lot of time on Facebook, let me, uh, let's talk. And maybe I present that the Facebook and maybe, maybe I share that with you later if that works. But um, this person, this particular person, three, three employees that spend from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. All, all that time on Facebook. Mm, got it. Well, awesome. Well, congratulations again. And uh, I'm going to end the recording and we'll start our office hours. Thank you.